could shit fold it because I wonder where are we going? Chick-fil-A, Mom and Poppy. Poppy went to work and he had a way, an opportunity to come out of work and he said, meet me at Chick-fil-A. And we said, sure. Tell me what happened. I tripped on the concrete. And let me see your hands. Let me see this hand. Okay. Now tell everyone, say warning. Warning. You're about to see. You're about to see. Blood. Blood. What kind of blood did you just say it was? Liquid. You said it's real liquid blood. Right there. Right there. And then we had a scrape there, but no blood. A little. Goodness too. gracious. So do you think seeing Poppy at Chick-fil-A will make it all better? Uh -uh. I think so. You're supposed to say sure, mommy. Sure, mommy, but it won't make it the it the feel better. Yeah, I know. Bandages. just Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm up early. I've already been into Manassas office and checked in, made sure everything's okay. I get a minute to meet with uh, the kids and hang out at Chick-fil-A. Anyway, like I was saying, I just got interrupted because Lori called me to tell me that, um, anyway, like I said, lids fell and she wanted to let me know Lydia's okay, but there's blood everywhere. So it's always an interesting thing. But anyway, I'm gonna meet with them and we're going to hang out at Chick-fil-A for a little while. Um, I won't get long because I've got some uh, staffing meetings here in a little bit. We're gonna be employing a new employee. We've already picked one up at Dembo Jones, one of our favorite clients. And now we're gonna pick one up at this other client we have that we'll be talking about later. And it's just been busy. And I think today we're gonna to run by offices. I think we're past the hacker attack, but we'll see. And we're just continue to close doors with that company and um, I think that's it right now but I'm tired very tired haven't slept hardly any okay Thomas and Ariel and Poppy uh, make it all there there's a playground too that helps and the playground Lydia saw a police officer and she wanted to go say thank you Oh. <laughs> girls I love Chick-fil-A. Well, I kind of likes it pretty good too. He's getting ready to climb now. And Lori is doing video. <laughs> I need Wi-Fi. She needs Wi-Fi, so we're here using it in the midst of this week of being here. And you're going to be meeting right there. I'm going right there, so i got to go there now four minutes. Bye. I'm walking from the Chick-fil-A to the Starbucks, leaving Lori and the kids playing and working on stuff. They've been having a nice kind of vacation while I've been working here in this area. This Today I'm in the Manassas, Virginia area with this branch office I'm working with. Probably going to go all over Virginia and Maryland before this is over. Here we go. And so now I'm with this guy <laughs> at Starbucks. We're going to do a meeting and then we're going to hang out with a possible employee. You won't see that either, <laughs> but you'll see some other fun stuff we do later. We just spent the last two and a half hours at Chick-fil-A playing. Did you guys have a good time? Yes. And we had breakfast with Poppy. Uh, he went to Starbucks right across the parking lot and had... Poppy's not on the airplane right now. We're driving an airplane. We're driving in an airplane? Yeah. Wow. Don't look down. Okay. So Poppy had his meeting across the parking lot at Starbucks. They had an interview. 
and it, he said it went well. He came over, gave kisses, and he's off to work. And hopefully we'll get to have dinner with him. We might not, not sure. I know we're gonna go back to the hotel, watch cartoons for the afternoon. We will eat uh, our leftovers from dinner last night. And swim. And then swim, and then text Poppy and find out about dinner. And, toy. and we're gonna throw the swim toys in the water. That's Malachi's favorite. I think that's what we got planned. You're gonna put your legs in the water? Yeah. Oh, do you like doing that? Yeah. Oh, good. Who's gonna jump today? I am. Boom. No. That was a big gulp. Mommy said she had to jump one more time, so. Our room's not ready yet. Booyah, booyah. Booyah, booyah. Lunch is served. We have chicken piccata, we chicken alfredo, noodles. spaghetti and noodles yeah. and broccoli. I'm so ready to eat. I'm ready to dig in. This is all of our leftovers from Olive Garden, and I divided them up. This is Poppy's. You're sitting in Poppy's chair. I didn't get to re record this story, so I'm going to do it as a drive. Um, but whenever we're at Chick fil A, Lydia actually ran up those police officers. And I thought she was just going to say thank you for keeping us safe, but instead she prayed for them because we decided in our family that we want to keep praying for the police during this season. I didn't expect her to run up and pray for them immediately. I'm crying. They were affected. I ended up cutting off the camera early, but just moments later, um, the one police officer, he came up to me at the table and he goes, listen, I want to tell you, we were just dis just talking about the issue that's in our world today is that people aren't teaching their kids to respect and not to have conversations and the and that's what's in creating this kind of culture that we have it's all about how they're brought up and da 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 he said we literally walked in the door and your kid did that he goes we were blown away he said honestly Turn left on Sudley road honestly we're blown away and we're so encouraged you guys have done an amazing job training your kids. He goes, seriously, thank you so much for what you're teaching them. It's better for all of us. And folks, I just want to say on that. quarters of a mile. Exit to I-66 East Washington. I'm going to Washington I-66 East, East. But anyways, just if we get out there and we just teach our own kids to respect um, the authorities that are above them and we teach them that there's something good about these people, then it changes everything. We change everything by setting expectations in the way we teach our kids. So anyways, I just want to say that today, and um, I'm obviously heading into the DC area, and then from there into Maryland, so here we go. I tortured my children. I taught them a song. Sing it. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they will keep on singing it just because this is the song that never ends. How do you get this out of my eye? I never have a It's stuck in their heads. <laughs> We have been to Manassas, Fairfax, Rockville, back to Manassas. No, back to Fairfax. Then one more time to Manassas. It's been an amazing day. Picked up two, two, yeah, two clients. I mean, no, no, no. <laughs> Still tired. We picked up two new team members so two new staff members for us one for the office in rockville that's our accounting firm client and the other one for this new client 
We've been all over the place. I am mentally exhausted, but we've done very well today. Everything worked that we've implemented from firewalls and static IP addresses and everything else. Everything is keeping the cyber attackers out. Um, our new firewall unit came in. Everything's going the right way. I'm going to finish up today, head back to the hotel, start celebrating Anna's birthday, last birthday thing that we didn't get to do in North Carolina, and then start celebrating Lydia tomorrow for her birthday week. I'm so thankful to have my family here. I am thankful for this time with my family, and I'm praying that God just continues to bless all of our activity and work and their birthdays and everything else. Anyways, here we go, you guys. This has been intense. I'm sorry I've been on and off video. I can't really show you some of the client stuff because of the details of their work, but I'll get you back to seeing some of that stuff later. Oh, busy day. Well, she goodness. said that she wants you to take it to work, so everyone will know at work that you're the king. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that'll go over really good. Okay, seriously, <laughs> those numbers can't be legit. We are in five below for the last time. Last thing we do, we had to skip this before because we didn't have time or a chance to do it. We are having Anna's last birthday week and she just got dog. the dog from okay so is it Anna's birthday week no but we missed one day from her birthday week because, because Lydia Malachi were sick yeah so this is we went to five below to finish that promise and there's one more promise we oh, were gonna wait, do wait, wait. we also did game sock which it was a bonus Yes. We'll talk about it later. There's one more promise for birthday week. What is it? Outback! Oh, no. Let's go! Wait, say family second Jesus first. Family second Jesus first. I did this. I saw. Having us see awesome birthday, may all your dreams be true. We wish it was our birthday so we can party too. Yeah. Happy birthday, Anna. Thank you. Here's some How did you know I like chocolate? I just <laughs> have a feeling. I think Malik has figured out how this works. <laughs> and actually, to be honest, Anna went out for a picture. He dove in, put his face right into it. That's no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you turned. <laughs> right as she turned. Bam! That's nummy. Are you <laughs> Is that nummy, Malachi? No, 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 no. Just like that. Use a spoon. Let me get some for you, buddy. Yes. Yes, okay, here. I'll get it for you. So we went to GameStop to get a couple things. And this is the weirdest thing ever. I mean, we have a rewards card and everything, so this is this is cool. But we went in, and they had all their characters, like their Skylanders and stuff, which we love playing. And they had Disney, Infinity, so we got Brave, and we got all these, Baymax, all that. And this is legendary characters in, in whatever. I mean, just, they're all, um, believe it or not, we bought them buy two, get three free. They're used, so they're already about 30% off. I got another 10% off. I can't believe, buy two, get three free. So five for the price of two, and those two are used, so they're already, it's just, it's just crazy. So we just racked up, and I just had to share that. It's just, it's crazy. And I mean, like, it doesn't sound real, but we really, you buy two, you get three free. Those are the free ones. Look at that. Not making it up. Isn't that crazy? And this is birthday um, presents. And, and Malachi's back. So, wow, big birthday blessings. The reason why I'm recording all of this is because I wanted you guys to know, you guys to know that the girls were given this 
um, because Uncle Daniel told me to go. He gave me a good gift of money and said, go buy the girls something they really like. I told him it's going to be something to do with Skylanders and Infinity because they love it. And so, Daniel, thank you. Um, it went far because I got buy, buy two, get three free, get three free. It's just crazy. So, anyways, boom. Way to go. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle t -Hoon. We got back to the hotel, and um, and I noticed this when I was at um, Outback, but uh, Miss Rita, who Lydia prayed for and Lori had just a great time with, who's a homeschool a mom and may end up being a really great relationship for Lori forever, um, who we just spent tons of time with Outback, um, she wrote this at the bottom of our thing. So this is the bottom of our receipt. It says, it says, God bless you all. Thank you, Rita. And listen, when they asked her to pray, she like gave real stuff. And it was really cool to get to pray with her family. She, her um, family sounds really awesome. So anyways, it was just a great night there and um, amazing. So I prayed for Miss Rita and it was like amazing. She gave me like real ones. And it was like everybody was going somewhere, but they weren't going together. <laughs> and, I agree with them. and was she really, really nice? <laughs> and what happened? She walked up and you said, before she gonna say anything, you said, Can I pray for you? And then what happened? She had to help a lot of people, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Did it take a long time or a little time to wait? Took a good bit of time because she had a lot of people she was helping and then finally she came over and she let you pray and she quoted bible verses to us and encouraged us didn't she mm -hmm. what else do you remember anything else um and miss vita had a boy and he was really funny and he told some stories and it Look. was hilarious but don't tell the stories right now That's... can i tell one okay one real quick he drove a car in the woods. <laughs> when he was a baby, he actually like, drove a car into the woods. He was crazy. Okay, so let me let me say this. Um, can you tell Miss Rita thank you for letting you pray for her? Because she's probably going to watch us sometime. Can you say thank, that? Let thank me you, Miss Rita. We had a great night. Thank you. I forgot one more part about the GameStop story. They said that they had a boatload of GameStop games that they just put out today. And they were putting them out as we walked up. And that's how we got Olaf, isn't it? Which is one of your favorites. It was like their secret stash. We were looking for Xfinity or Infinity yeah. pre-owned. And I was like, I don't think they're here. I mean... And we went over and like they had... One. No. We got Baymax. No, I'm not. And we got Brave. And we got Olaf. Oh, I'm not talking about those. And we I'm got Agent P. Before that. Oh, yeah. Before we that. got about like one yeah. pre-owned. And then we found all of the... I was like, hey, Poppy, there's some more Infinity over there. And he's like, oh, my goodness. And they were stickering on. And he's like... I didn't realize they were just putting them out. They said they had like hundreds in the back. And that that's why they're buy two, get three free. It was crazy. And they said they just kept having them come in. And we were just there at the right time, right? Uh -huh. Does that sound like God? Uh -huh. Does it sound like God? Uh -huh. It's awesome. Can't sleep with us tonight. <laughs> I'll sleep in my bed. You sleep in yours. No, I'll sleep in your bed with you. <laughs> no, I'll sleep in my bed with me. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Get ready to go to bed. We've had an intense week. Um, work I've done with this one client is you know made them a client we found out they have other contracts that fall in the IT realm which was surprising and so we now are going to be talking to those clients we might pick up as many as four other clients we got contact about another client in another area in Maryland that now wants us to come and do IT managed services so that's another big contract I mean, these are big contracts we were contacted by another company for some more projects for me in North Carolina. And then we got a contact from a huge organization out of DC that's very well known, works between
parts of Congress and they want us to look at a contract as well. And then somebody else wants to take us international with our knowledge in cybersecurity since we've just done live hacker battles and um, secured systems and took down um, hackers from China and whatnot. And we literally, we've done some of the best work that folks have seen so far in actually dealing with live situations. I am shocked. It, if we were to get every contract that's in front of us right now, we're, we're looking at in possibly more than a million dollars in, in contract work this year. And we, we've been struggling for years to get this to take off. It's the weirdest thing. I moved to North Carolina and then everything takes off. It just doesn't make any sense. So Lori and I are just trying to wrap our heads around it. I'm trying to figure out which way's up because that's a lot of time coming back to DC and we actually have a contract that is ratified and at this point the sale just went pending. They're getting an appraisal in on Monday and we're, we're selling our house. There's no turning back. We live in North Carolina and my work in DC just became successful so that I'm being flown in here more, I guess. And um, I don't know, I'm really challenged. I wanted to travel and preach, but now it's like I'm going to travel and do work. And I've been invited to I've been invited to a conference to speak possibly on cybersecurity for a huge group of uh, CPAs in, in the US. And we've also been invited to start to work internationally through a person that has strong ties in um, a nation as a, as a real world leader. And I'm just I don't get it. I just, I'm sitting here trying to figure it out. I'm recording this because this is so strange and um, we're praying through it. But this is, this has been a strange whole thing. This is, and you guys are seeing it with us. It's really weird. It's like everything just started working and we're just trying to figure it out. We'll see what happens. Y'all come with us. I have no idea what's happening, but um, the Lord's given us a lot of authority give me a voice in all of this and put me in front of folks and people walk down the hall to shake my hands at companies now and um, talk about me in big meetings and stuff and so here we go To keep a promise to one of my clients, I am down here in this teeny little business area for the hotel we're finally staying in. Remember we started the Hyatt Regency, which was a suite and a 180 degree window view. We are now in a Holiday Inn um, and we are loving it. It's really, it's great, even though it's a lot less swanky or whatever. I'm here, down here in this little business area, rolling out video tutorials for a client here at midnight because I promised I would do it. And I'm getting it done, and they're going online right now. Then, I'm going to go upstairs, jump online, tear through the software for a, one of the clients and another client and deal with that because I'm keeping my promise, keeping my word. And then at some point, I'm going to go to bed and get up again tomorrow and do this all over again. You know what? This kind of dedication is what it takes to make it successful. And I'm making it. And everybody's in bed. And I'm going to keep going. And this is how we're going to do until we build our team and we make a difference. You know, I'm going to keep going because it's what God's called me to do for the moment. I may not preach in pulpits, but I can preach through my life. <laughs>